Welcome to Pharmacy Prep. This animated video helps to learn how to instill eye drops and ointments. This video made with clarity and efficiently from the credible peer review references. I am confident that after watching this video, you will be able to demonstrate how to instill eye drops and ointment in simple steps. This video is a part of a series of videos for practical exams training such as Pharmacy Technician OSPI and also Pharmacist OSCE. So after these animated steps, I like to give you some simple tips that helps to pass your exams, practical exams. So to get more videos of this series, please do subscribe Pharmacy Prep channel and give a big thumbs up. Thank you. Welcome to PharmacyPrep.com Eye drops and ointment How to properly instill eye drops First, wash your hands Second, get in a position where you can comfortably tilt your head back and look up Three, pull down the lower lid of your eye with your index finger to form a pocket. Four, hold the dropper with your free hand holding as close to your eye without actually touching it. Five, while looking up, gently squeeze the dropper so the drop falls into the pocket made by the lower eyelid. Close your eye for two to three minutes and tilt your head down. Place a finger on the tear duct and gently apply pressure. Try not to blink or squeeze your eyelid. Seven, if you're using more than one drop, wait for at least five minutes before instilling the next drop. Next, eye ointment. First, hold the nozzle of the tube approximately two to five centimeters above the eye. Second, apply a line of ointment to the inner edge of the lower lid from the nasal corner outward. Three, close your eye immediately after administering of medication. All right, that was an animation demonstration for eye drops and eye ointment. I hope you found that to be very informative, and thank you for watching. Finally, I like to end this video with some tips on how to succeed on your practical exams such as pharmacy technician, OSPI or pharmacist OSCE exams. So in these exams, the most important component that is tested is your communication skills. So therefore, when you're presenting a medication use process or instruction on how to use the medications or a demonstrating a device, the key component you are tested is your communication skills. So therefore, your presentation has to be in clarity and accurate and also the simple in such a way that simple steps one, two, three. So that way patient can take away your information and use them in their medication use process. So hope this information will be useful to succeed in your exams. So, to get more videos like this, please do subscribe Pharmacy Prep channel and give a big thumbs up. Great, thank you.